it's news time on Favu TV channel to the viewers. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. Dubai has recorded over 30,000 Romania visitors in the first three months of 2019, a 20% increase when compared to the same period in 2018, according to Dubai's Department of Tourism and Commerce Marketing. <laughs> You're watching Travel News on Travel TV channel. Thanks for joining us. Cameroon is one of the countries in Africa endowed with wide forests of bamboo and rotten. Though the sector has not been fully developed as a tourist attraction, the transformed products draws the attention of locals and tourists. Our reporter Cathy Robbins and Ding was at the Bopi neighborhood in Douala to discover the beautiful craft products of bamboo and rotten. It is no doubt that the plant bamboo leaves tourists amazed whenever they see it. Reason why one of the most visited and photographed tourist spots in Japan is Arashiyama Bamboo Grove. Cameroon is one of the countries in Africa that is gifted with a wild forest of bamboo. The bamboo spots may have not been developed as a tourist attraction, yet the transformed products of bamboo draws the attention of locals and tourists. These woven chairs Tables, flowers, baskets, couch have been made from Indian bamboo and rattan. Their production is a chain process. We get our materials from the virgin forest, but most of them come from bushes. We have people who are specialized in cutting and shaping the rattans. We buy from them and produce cobots, coffins, beds, baskets and chairs. Like you can observe, we do the weaving. It is universal that the price of a product for locals is not the same for tourists. Producers always have their justification. We don't sell at the same price. If a Cameroonian and a tourist come to buy, of course, we will not sell at the same price. They belong to two different worlds. The tourist has his own price and the Cameroonian has his own. Customers for bamboo products like chairs, tables, baby cradles are not as much as those for wooden furniture. It has been observed that rattan products are seen more like prestigious goods which can be found mostly in homes of the rich. However, this producer says no matter the purchasing power of every Cameroonian or tourist, one can return home with any of these, big or small. Meantime, Indian bamboo is used in Cameroon to construct bridges, houses, accessories, and music instruments. Les déplacements interurbains au Cameroun se font de manière différente, notamment dans les régions du nord, sud, sud-ouest et du centre. Quels sont donc les moyens de transport utilisés dans les villes de ces régions? Les détails avec Olive Lebdeux. Au Cameroun et notamment dans les villes de Yaoundé, Douala, Beya et Garoua, il existe de nombreux moyens de déplacement, notamment les taxis, les motos, les cargos, les vélos et même les ânes. Dans les villes de Yaoundé, les déplacements interurbains se font à travers des taxis en grand nombre. Cela à cause des longues distances d'entre quartiers. Les motos sont utilisées en petit nombre et surtout pour les destinations plus connues sous le nom de sous-quartiers. Les cargos sont souvent empruntés beaucoup plus à cause de leurs tarifs bas. Dans la ville de Douala, par contre, pour les raisons de pression, rapidité et d'embouteillage, les moyens de déplacement les plus courants sont les motos communément appelées Bensikin. Dans les zones de savane, surtout la ville de Garoua, les moyens de transport les plus utilisés sont la marche à pied, le vélo, le cheval, les ânes, la moto et le taxi. À Béa, le moyen de transport le plus utilisé est le taxi et souvent la marche à pied. À Yaoundé, nous avons euh, d'habitude euh, le taxi des villes qui sont des voitures peintes en jaune. Et nous avons aussi des personnels qui ont mis des, des voitures à, dire, à la disposition du, du public. Il y a aussi des bus dans la ville de Yaoundé. 
et dans les périphéries, nous trouvons aussi des, des mototaxis. Mais par contre, à Douala, euh, il y a aussi plusieurs modes, les mêmes. Sauf qu'à Douala, ce qui prime le plus, c'est les mototaxis. Il y a de moins en moins de taxis. Et la société des bus est presque inexistante. Le transport urbain est devenu un métier de qualité considérable au Cameroun. C'est devenu l'un des plus grands moyens de pallier au taux de chômage. Like mentioned in a headline, Dubai's Department of Tourism and Commerce Marketing has supported a steady increase in tourism volumes from Romania, welcoming close to 30,000 visitors in the first three months of 2019, a 20% increase when compared to the same period in 2018. The World Tourism Organization has met in Banco Azerbaijan for the 110th session of its Executive Council. At the meeting, which ended on Tuesday, June 18, member states endorsed the organization's progress and future plans as outlined by the Secretary General and welcomed the participation of the United States as it explores the possibility of rejoining the World Tourism Organization. Sport football in this newscast, for the first time in the history of France, the city of Paris is playing as the host city to the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup. The opening match has been played at the Parc des Points Stadium and this June 19, 2019, Scotland will take on Argentina in the same stadium. In the following report, our reporter Lionette Apaji Abongwa looked at the sensational qualities of Paris. The 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup is the perfect time for all the city's curious visitors from France and from abroad to combine sports and discovery. Paris's timeless heritage, as well as its many unique districts, offers a constant experience to visitors. Each neighborhood is home to its own must see sites and sacred gardens. The village FIFA fan experience in the heart of the Forum de Zal shopping center is drawing many onlookers and if you are visiting Paris for the first time due to the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup, you might just want to join the crowd. If you just want to discover the city's heritage or just relax, visit the Chantelet and Le Marais Central Districts. You can also visit the Paris Sien on a boat, on foot or on a bike. The endless range of exhibitions, shows, festivals, museums will leave tourists overwhelmed in the city of Paris. Prominent restaurants in the city where you can savour the finest of French and intercontinental food include Mama's Exclusive, Old Top, amongst others. Hotels like Vendôme Opera, Citadine Les Alpes Paris, Hotel Rezada are rated exceptional for their fair deals and customer service. That report of the city of Paris takes us to the end of this edition of Travel News on Travel TV channel. Thanks very much for watching and stay on Travel TV for more information on the tourism sector. Travel TV, travel with our brothers. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, Share and click on the bell icon to get notification on our latest updates.